This is part two of the Key Cloak, the basics tutorial. In part one, we created a realm, a user, some roles, and we registered a customer portal application within the administration console. Next, we opened up the customer portal Maven WAR project, and we created a keycloak.json configuration file. The next thing we have to do is we have to import the jars, the keycloak jars that the customer portal application is going to use. To do that, we need to create a JBoss deployment structure.xml file. The keycloak appliance distribution, the Wildfly server that comes with it, um, is pre configured, pre installed with the keycloak adapter jars. Those keycloak adapter jars are installed into that Wildfly instance via a JBoss module. So this customer portal application does not have access to those keycloak adapter jars by default. So that is why we need to create a JBoss deployment structure to XML. So let, I'm not going to actually type that in. I've actually created it for you already. Um, let's take a look at it. The absolute minimum module you have to import is the keycloak undertow adapter. And you must say that uh, services equals import. So what this will do is that it will import the keycloak adapter jars into this customer application portal when it boots up. Um, the actual code of the customer portal application, it uses um, Apache HTTP client, which also comes with Wildfly, and um, also some of the classes within the Keycloak core module. So you create that JBoss deployment structure within the webinf directory of the customer portal application. Um, the final thing we have to configure within the project itself is the web.xml file. And you can see here that most of it's already been set up. We've set up some basic servlet security constraints. For instance, um, any U URLs under admin slash star uh, can only be accessed by users that have the admin role. Any URLs that you access via slash customer slash star um, can only be accessed by users that have the user role. This file is all set up except for one thing. The one thing we have to do is we have to go to the login config here and we have to change the auth method to keycloak. And we hit save. So this is all set and ready to go. Okay, the customer portal application is all set up now. Um, the next thing we want to secure is the database service. So we'll go here. This is also a, a WAR as well, um, but it is not a browser-based application. It's just a plain um, RESTful JAXRS service. So uh, our deployment structure is already set up for us. So we don't have to do anything with that. You see, again, it just imports the, uh, the Keycloak undertow adapter. Uh, we also have to create a keycloak.json file within this project as well. We don't have to actually register the database service because it's a pure RESTful service and it's going to um, be obtaining credentials from the token that's passed to it when REST, RESTful clients invoke on this particular database service. So we don't have to register it within the, app, the administration console. But we do still have to create um, a keycloak.json file. We're just going to cut and paste from um, the one that's in the customer portal application. And um, we're going to change uh, the resource name to be database service. And there's no credentials because this particular database service never talks to the Keycloak administration server, so we don't need that. What we do need, though, is um, something called bearer only. 
we're going to set this to true. This is saying that uh, this database service servlet application can only be accessed by um, bearer token authentication. So basically only REST clients can invoke on this particular uh, web application here. So we'll hit save. We do have to register our product portal though. And so let's go back to the administration console and do that pretty quickly here. So we're back to our admin console. We'll click add application. Um, do product portal. We'll enable it. Well, we'll set the uh, admin URL. Save it. Our password for product portal be password. Um, we'll set up the scope to be the same as um, the customer portal. Okay, we finished in the admin console, so let's go to the product portal project here and uh, we'll set up the key cloak to JSON again for that. Cut and paste from installation here. Uh, set SSL not required to true. Set our password to password here. And delete the rest of this stuff. And save it. Go to web.xml. Change that to key cloak. It's already changed. Hit save. And now we can boot up the demo. So on the top level of the uh, unconfigured demo directory, we'll do um, an MVN clean install. This will build each one of the projects there. Okay, once we've done that, um, we're going to do something called Maven JBoss AS deploy. What, what this will do is deploy um, each one of these applications to the Wildflight server. Um, so you see it deployed um, the customer portal, the product portal portal, the database service. Um, it failed on this one and stopped, but that's because that's the uh, a different tutorial and we haven't configured that one yet. Okay, so now that um, everything is deployed to Wildfly, we can actually run the demo, so let's do that. So in your browser, go to localhost port 8080 slash customer dash portal, and you should see this green page come up here. Um, this is a, an unsecured page. It's just the basic wel welcome page of the customer portal. But um, this customer listing here, th it, this is a protect, protected resource um, for customer listing. So when we click on that, we should be asked to authenticate with the Keycloak server. Unfortunately, we forgot to do one last step. As you see from the error message here, it's saying that um, to log into the server, HTTPS is required. What we didn't do on the Keycloak admin for the demo realm, we did not set um, SSL required to fault. So let's do that right now. So go to the uh, auth server here. And you see we have our require SSL switch is on right now for the demo realm. So we'll click that to off and we'll save the changes here. So now when we go to the customer portal, click customer listing. We now can um, enter the username and password for the user. Click login, and we get to our customer listing page. Um, so what happened here is uh, you saw we got redirected to the auth server. We entered our username and password. We got redirected back to the customer portal page. And what actually happened when we did that redirect is uh, Keycloak um, extracted um, this code here from the redirect URL pass that code through a separate HTTP request to the auth server and turn that into a token. And that token contained um, the identity of, of the user here, uh, bburk at redhat.com, and also uh, the 
privileges of that user, specifically the user role. And it took that token and it made an invocation on the database server, the database service that we configured before, and it got this customer listing to display back to us. Um, so we can also uh, go to the product products portal as well. And if we click product listing, you see that we don't have to re-log in again. Um, what happened was uh, when we clicked on that product listing, we got redirected to the auth server. The auth server saw that um, identity cookie was set. We had already logged in, so um, it redirected back to the product portal. The product portal got a, a access token specifically for that application, um, went to the database service, it got back the product listing, and, sh and displayed it here. This product application here also has a logout link. Um, if you look at the URL down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that um, it redirects back to the Keycloak server um, with a specific URL to log out. So when I click on this, uh, Keycloak is actually going to log us out of every single application that we've logged into. So if I click on that, when I go to product listing now, you'll see that I get to the login screen. I go to customer portal, okay, look, click customer listing, you'll see that I've been logged out of the customer portal as well. Okay, there's one last thing I want to show you. Let's go back to the, uh, the welcome page of the customer portal. Um, this link right here, customer admin interface, uh, it's actually uh, another secured area of the customer portal site, but it's secured by the admin role. Um, when I click on that, you'll see that um, because we're logged out, we'll be asked to log in again. But um, when I click login here, uh, because BBRC does not have uh, those credentials, the admin credentials, um, we'll get an error message that it's forbidden to do that. So that's it. Um, that's it for the basics of Keycloak. You've seen that uh, we've created a realm, we've created some applications and configured them, created some users and, and some roles and mapped some roles onto those users. And that's really the basics of Keycloak.